Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Are you the one knocking down all of my Christmas decorations? I mean, I don't want to assume anything, but I kind of have a hunch about this. Mm. You're gonna knock your bowl over, silly boy. Come on, Ginger. So clearly the sun is going down, so we're gonna just shoot this and go, right? Welcome to the channel, guys. Welcome back to Appalachia's Homestead. We just got home and we quickly have updated everybody in the barn. And there's Fritz. I'm telling you, that little creature is tearing down my Christmas decorations. <laughs> he wants that jingle bell. He does. He got rid of his collar with the little jingle bell and now he's like, I'm going for that. I, I, I really do think that it's him. So anyway, so here's the deal. Let's get this, uh, get this video going before I lose daylight. Um, today, today and tomorrow, James has medical appointments. I'm going to give you a very, very short, brief bit of information and background so you understand the scenario because a lot of you are new faces. So back in 2000, late 2016, my husband fell into congestive heart failure at our old homestead on the driveway. Um, if you've been with us for a long time, I have multiple videos about this and different things with him and his health journey and all of these things. Now, obviously this is back in late 2016, so you know it's not related to the things that we are dealing with now. Do I have, I probably have mud on me. Um, so just to give you an update on that, the reason he went into congestive heart failure and, um, all of that is be due to a virus. He had a viral attack on his, a global viral attack on his heart. We think the most likely culprit is or was mycoplasma. Once we entered that realm, luckily my husband did not have to have a pacemaker. Um, they actually said you're at the, you're borderline. And so with a lot of therapy, aggressive therapy, weight loss, um, and lots of really good care through the University of Tennessee, et cetera, et cetera. James is on a really good path, okay? So there's that. In that process, after his body, in a sense, collapsed, my husband also pretty much overnight became a diabetic. Diabetic. He had never had any issues prior to these episodes, okay? So this is just what I'm saying is, is my husband has a history. A lot of you may know about it. Uh, I'm not gonna get into private, intimate, crazy details because that's not what this video is about. Um, but again, we have to be very aggressive with taking care of James and you know, this is what we do. So here's the thing. So my husband is on medications and has been for several, several years. The positive thing is the last two times that we've gone uh, to his different doctors, there has been conversation about him weaning himself off of medic, off of at least, um, probably going to be at least half of them. Okay because you're dealing with cardiology and you're dealing with an endocrinologist. So you've got two different things going on here. So I'm just gonna leave it at that, okay? Here's the thing, my husband, and I've already, he knows I'm making this video. My husband has been on Ozempic, which he takes once a week. He's been on that, I wanna say for maybe three years. James had to go on to insulin when he was first diagnosed as being a diabetic. Um, because they were afraid he was going into some form, could be going into some form of kidney failure, which he did not. He beat that. Um, so he was on insulin. I think he took insulin for three months. We got off of that. Okay. So then um, proceeding forward, he's been on Ozempic and it has worked really well for helping to suppress his appetite, control his blood sugar. Um, he's on several things. Uh, some things he elects to take versus not. So my point is, is last week we got an email that he can't get it anymore. Now, ironically, the beauty of this is we have our endocrinology appointment with his doctor tomorrow. So we've been talking about this. We've been bracing ourselves for, okay, are we going, uh, you know, and I, what do we want to do here? So obviously you don't know, I don't know, we don't know exactly yet based upon the fact that we haven't seen the doctor yet. Um, is there something else he's going to recommend? Are we going back to the conversation of weaning? Maybe trying that. James is very open to that. James does not like taking medications at all. Um, so, uh, and just, to, I'm just going to say this one little bit because I think this is going to get mentioned in the comments down below. Don't get offended. Don't, don't think anything. If you're going to ask about our health in terms of more recent things, um, we, we are not, um, we, we have not chosen 
the hokey pokey <laughs> and no way. Uh, so my point is, is sometimes people will say, well, are you better or worse or this or that because of this? Because that's been the conversation that we've all had for the last two and a half years of our life, it seems like. So the answer is, is that has nothing to do with any of this and no, we're not. And there's that. So, um, but here's the thing. So here we have something that we have been able to have. My husband has been able to have access, easy access to, and it's not on back order. It's you ain't getting it. Um, so here's the thing. So are we going to, is he going to be replacing that with something else? I don't know yet. Obviously we have to talk to the doctor and weigh these things out, maybe over, even over time. Will he switch to something temporarily to maybe try to wean it back and slowly wean off? I don't know, but here's where I'm going with this. This stuff is really hitting home. This isn't just about the fact that maybe we didn't feel good and we went to Walgreens and they didn't have Mucinex. Again, you folks out there that are, um, have cardiology issues or um, are diabetics or different things like this, what are you seeing? To piggyback this conversation, today James had a, an appointment um, with his sleep study group. He's getting a new mask. Um, again, my husband had zero complications, zero problems until after he fell into congestive heart failure. And like I said, that fell into, he, now he, then he had sleep apnea. Maybe he had it prior to that, but we didn't know and there were no issues. So once you have a body crash uh, due to some form of illness, it does, it does tend to seem to be that you start noticing or having other issues too. So my husband um, does have sleep apnea and he does sleep with a mask. And today we had to, um, he's getting a whole new setup because he's so picky about that stuff. <laughs> you think I'm picky? You ladies, we're not that picky. These guys out here. But anyway, so we went and the guy said, listen, it's on back order. Everything's on back order. And we were like, seriously? He said, yeah. He said, to be honest with you, he said, it's actually gotten a little bit better. He said, um, <laughs> We've had people needing items and it would take us over six months to get it. He said, everything that you're seeing, slow down, all the complications that we're seeing, whether it's with the, the new tubes, the mask, anything. He said, it is all supply chain related. So hopefully we'll get what James needs. We're good for now, but, um, you know, he said it might take seven to 10 business days. He said, it's not too, too bad. Um, but that's where we are. So what are you seeing out there? So this isn't a video just to talk about James. <laughs> um, but you know, we've been talking about this all day long because here we are, you know, we pushed once we saw last week that he was probably not going to be able to get the Ozempic again. And there's lots of people talking about this drug and why people are taking it and they don't need it, but they are. So I'll just leave that at the door. Um, that kind of pushed us to, okay, what else do you need? What else do we need to do? And hence, it, it once you go after these things and you're trying to take care of your due diligence, you're trying to fill your medicine cabinet, you're trying to you're trying to take care of home, you're seeing the problems that we're all having. And I see comments from you guys about all sorts of stuff. So this is to have a conversation about what are you seeing in your area? What are you having trouble with? Um, what have you been told as far as recommend? We're trying to help each other. What what is how how can we how what is the best way for us to help each other in this scenario? I understand that somebody's gonna say hey, you just need to get off all of your medications and um, you know eat a pine cone. Um, I understand all of these things. We do, and um, you know I'm not gonna give that medical advice to somebody because see each individual has a unique health situation that they have to work out for themselves or wean for themselves. So I'm not advocating one way or another. I'm just saying, hey, this is what we're seeing. This is what my husband is seeing. Um, and this is the situation that we're going through. I fortunately, knock on wood, um, and have not had any medical problems. I don't take any medications, prescriptions. Um, I'm still, you know, still there. So, and that's, you know, if you're one of these individuals that is in, in the boat like I am, um, you know, you carry the stress a lot of times for your spouse. So I don't worry about me so hard, but I do worry about my husband. So guys, it's getting dark. What are you seeing? What do you think? 
um, what delays, back orders, cancellations, whatever. Um, like I said, the goal here is to help each other out in the comments um, just to get an idea of what's going on out there. Because sometimes you don't know till you show up and sometimes you don't show up until six months, 12 months later and you go, well, I didn't know this was happening. So that's what we're trying to do is to keep you aware, keep ourselves aware. All right, guys. Hey, Fritz, where you at? He's running around with me. I got that uh, dog house out down there. I'm gonna put it in the front clip of the video. Well, you really can't see me. Can you see me? Isn't it pretty? Um, I'm gonna be setting up for the cats some extra warm, extra bedding for next week because have you looked at the weather? Now, I know you guys up in like Montana and stuff, you got like 12 inches of snow and stuff yesterday or something. <laughs> I don't envy you. I love Yellowstone, but I'm gonna stay in Southeast Tennessee, y'all. But like next Friday, uh, Christmas weekend, we're gonna be like nine degrees or something. Guess we're gonna have to fire up that wood stove and cook on her, right? All right, guys. Guys, I gotta go. I gotta check in at the house, get dinner started. We love you, thank you so much. I uh, will get that giveaway uh, coming up. I uh, haven't been, had a chance to even, uh, you know, uh, you know, what is it? What does Dolly Parton say? She says, I don't, didn't have enough time to weather to uh, scratch my watch or wind my butt. That's been that kind of day today. So, hope you're doing well. Stay healthy, stay aware. Let us know what you think. Like, subscribe, and share. And guys, we're going to see you all next video.